On Tuesday, specialized doctors from the Rwanda Defense Force, in collaboration with the United States Africa Command, USAFRICOM, commenced treatment activities in Rwamagana District. Residents of Rwamagana District are content of the initiative, citing its benefits in facilitating a faster access to diverse medical services at affordable costs. This collaboration is particularly valuable as it brings specialized care closer to the community, typically available only at referral hospitals. Olive Nete has more. The medical services that will be provided in this initiative include a wide range of specialties, including ophthalmology, dentistry, general surgery, orthopedic surgery, gynecology and obstetrics, respiratory care, urology and pediatrics. Residents express profound appreciation for this initiative, recognizing its significance in meeting diverse healthcare needs within the community. I've been suffering from eyes, teeth, and my leg also. I even went to Kanombe for treatment. I've been having these issues for a year and seven months. I immediately gained hope after seeing these specialists. I'm so happy, and I believe that they will treat me and I'll be able to get well. I have been suffering from back pain. It has been a year. I'm happy since I believe that these specialists will be able to cure my disease. These activities are being held at Muriri Health Center, Gaini Hospital, and Guamagana Hospital. Dr. Placid Shizirungu, the Director General of Guamagana Hospital, emphasizes that hosting these experts will not only alleviate the backlog of patients awaiting these specialized services, but also present an opportunity to exchange experiences and knowledge with these specialists. Furthermore, Colonel Professor Alex Futera, the Chief Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon at Rwanda Military Hospital, highlights the multifaceted benefits of collaborating with USAFRICOM underscoring its positive impact on healthcare delivery. When doctors are together, they learn from each other, especially these specialists, since they also help our general practitioners to gain more knowledge. We doctors always learn. We never cease to do that, especially in the cases such as these of having specialists from the Rwanda Military Hospital and those from the United States. They come with the new knowledge and new equipment and new technologies that we don't have. Yes, through this, we will reach out to many patients, but we doctors, we will also benefit from it. These activities are productive since citizens are able to get medical services from different departments such as ophthalmology, dentist, orthopedics, and other various diseases. These residents are treated in their respective sectors and when they need advanced treatment, they are referred to the Rwanda Military Hospital. This is truly a good activity that is brought closer to residents and is productive in that specific area where it is conducted. The mayor of Guamagana district, Rajab Monyumuvunyi, emphasizes the significant contribution of these programs to the residents' development, noting that health is fundamental to overall well-being and progress. The activity promises to yield significant gains. Previously, due to the limited number of doctors, residents waited for many, let's say three or four days, sometimes even up to a week for appointments. Today, we are happy because this collaboration means our residents no longer have to endure such prolonged waits. They can now receive treatment on the same day or the day after, ensuring expedited access to essential services. This expedited care delivered by specialized doctors is truly advantageous for our residents who can now receive the care they need in a much timely manner. Guamagana Hospital attends to over 50,000 patients annually, yet it operates with a limited number of medical service providers totaling approximately 270 with only six being specialists. The collaborative medical activities between the Rwanda Defense Force and the USAFRICOM are conducted on an annual basis. This year's initiative is slated to last 10 days. Olive Nete, RTV News.